down here. A cool morning after a summer rain provides perfect conditions oh, yeah. for climbing Mount St. Helens. Yeah, I can't wait to get to the top. It's absolutely amazing. Next week, for the first time in over a year and a half, the volcano will be open to the climbing public. It's, it's been much anticipated and it's a, a really exciting, exciting moment. From the climber's bivouac trailhead on the mountain's south side, it's 4,500 hard-fought feet of old lava flows to the volcano's rim. Rangers say it's the key. The math Keep works. Fueled and hydrated. Popping through the clouds, the last pitch brings us to the 8,300-foot summit. Our effort rewarded by stunning new views of the evolving crater below. The new dome stands as tall as a 30-story building and grows three to six feet a day. Rockfall and steam plumes put on a continuous and ever-changing show. Uh, dome seven. The dome twice as close to the rim than it was before the eruption that began in October 2004. And there's plenty to see beyond the crater. Amazing. It's the, I think it's the best bang for your buck. This thing gets a little taller every year. <laughs> Why open an active volcano to climbing? Really, we haven't had any sort of dangerous explosion. Uh, since uh, March of 2005 and uh, we feel that everything seems to be going at a fairly constant even rate now and probability of something really dangerous to climbers is extremely low. This summit has been footprint free for one and a half climbing seasons but that changes next week keeping pace with the geology below. On Mount St. Helens, Matt Safino, Northwest News Channel 8.